Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We are going to be jumping back in with our wizard, but before we do that, I just wanted to have a little talk about what we're going to be doing today. So, uh, we've made it to level 70 with our witch doctor. We made it to level 70 with our wizard quite a while ago, and it's been a while since I've, uh, I've played the wizard. Um, but the last session with the witch doctor, we completed another part of uh, the season journey objectives. Uh, right over here, we've got 6 out of 10 done. And that's going to give us access to the next part of Hadric's Gift. So we're currently sat on Torment 1. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into game. We're going to redeem that. And then we're going to look at uh, our current Kanai's Cube options. Really, we want to make things as beneficial as possible for both of our character classes. So this session, we're probably going to focus on either collecting Death's Breaths, uh, do a bunch of resource gathering, or specific items that we know that we're going to want to transmute. Um, for instance, with uh, the wizard class, I know that I'm going to want the mantle of challenging, uh, challenging, no, uh, channeling, uh, which is a, a shoulder piece, which means I'm going to need the ring of royal grandeur transmuted to get the full benefit of the firebird set. Certainly, if I want to be using uh, Chandotto's um, set at the same time. So, uh, either way, uh, let's get in there. Let's redeem um, Hadrid's gift, and we can start running Act One bounties repeatedly until we get the ring of royal grandeur. We might jump up to Torment 2 if it turns out to be nice and easy. What a message pending? Hadrick's gift. Claim to inventory. Here we go. Okay, so what are we using at the moment? Uh, Atrophy, Light of Grace. Oh, it is tempting to... to to try rare frost but uh, we'll do that after we've redeemed this so we're going to get the firebed's pinions shoulders and the sari feet a little bit disappointing that it's the shoulders rather than uh, another part of it but we will work with what we can unfortunately this also means that we're going to lose uh, the couple of parts of Ashira's set that we've got then again we are going to be setting everything on fire so i uh, Swings and roundabouts, although in this case, you know, the roundabouts are on fire and everything burns and dies. What do we got? We got pretty good, pretty good. Let's swap them over. Obviously, we're going to uh, look to improve these as much as possible. That blizzard damage is a complete waste, but 492 intelligence out of 500. Can't complain about that. And 465 and vitality and movement speed. Yeah, they're, they're both good. Uh, let's salvage up uh, these two pieces and everything else in our inventory while we're here. Salvage! Salvage! We don't care about any of you. You're gone. You're gone. Now, we could um, work just on getting our legendary gems, but I think that that's something that we can do at any point. And as part of Monday Night Gaming, we're going to be doing that with the Witch Doctor anyway. So, our best bet is just to sit and scroll through Act 1 Bounties, uh, see if we can um, get that Ring of Royal Grandeur. But first of all, we'll, we'll test the difficulty, just to see uh, how it is at Torment, because we've not done Torment before with the, uh, the Wizard Point. One, two, three, and we are ready to go. And everything's going to die really quickly. We're probably going to put this up to Torment 2. We're almost certainly going to put this up to Torment 2, he says, seeing how quickly they, they'll die. Power. Ah yes, Syndicate, that's the other thing. Um, as the uh, the last part of Monday Night Gaming, uh, just before I logged on, uh, I, I did it off camera, but I spent some time with Kadala um, trying to get chest armor pieces because I desperately I need, need that Syndicate. If, if I'm going to do any form of sustained long-term damage, it is an absolute necessity. The other thing is I need to assign my Paragon point to get a second, so let's kill this person, kill that, and get as many uh, crafting parts as possible. Let's do it now, that's the wrong button, that's what I wanted. Ooh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, full damage reduction, always good, resist all, always good, and resource cost reduction, that's where the money's at. Okay, let's, um... Let's see if we can't speed this up a little bit. Black. Black hole. There we go. I am Plus 30% damage on everything. Everything needs 
dying very quickly. Um, I could be a lot more careful with this, but it's only Torment 1, and look at how... Yeah, we're, we're regenerating as fast as things are damaging us. In fact... Let's up the difficulty now, and we'll do an entire act of bounties. Back to town. Leave game. Right. Uh, change. Torment 2. And we're, we're not going to be uh, anywhere close to going through a Greater Rift level 20 by ourselves at the moment, but at least this will improve our levelling speed, make things a little bit more challenging, and, and keep it interesting. And really that's what it's about. It's not about surviving, it's not about uh, trying not to die to mouth heal, it's, uh, it's about entertainment. Entertaining me as much as you, although I'm, I'm sure if I die another time then everyone's going to be uh, face palming more than me. The card and Riker. Okay, let's burn through these. Still waiting. I am so used to my old uh, <laughs> wizard <laughs> cooldown reduction. Oh, unique amulet. I'll have that. One, two, three. Forgot about these. There we go. That's much better. Right now, you can die. Hopefully, Need more faster. Power. Nope, not quite fast enough. All right, well we're going this way. Need more time. Nope, we're going back this way. Have a black hole, and we will just burn you. There we go. As soon as you're dead, we'll have a look at what that amulet was. Maybe it's something interesting. Maybe. Ooh, is that the haunt of Axo? Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy about this. I did. This is. One of the ones that I really, 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 really wanted just for the Shadow Clones. Uh, mostly for my Witch Doctor. But with it rolling 19% more damage as well. And, oh my god, this is really, really good. 739. It, that's almost a perfect... I, the critical hit chance, not so much. But perfect fire resistance. Perfect attack speed increase. Or damn near perfect fire skills and... That's in the do not accidentally salvage pile. I'm tempted to wear that myself, actually. Uh, except I am getting extra vitality from Blackthorn's cross. So we'll, we'll hold off on the moment. Uh, and we're not stunning anything either because we don't have um, any of our legendary gems in place. But that is a brilliant start to the session. That's made me so happy. If you can see, my face will be doing like this giant grin thing from like here to here. Yes, uh, I, I mentioned the uh, the mantle of channeling. Um, I was looking at um, potential equipment for my witch doctor because I've been trying to figure out which way I want to go with it. And um, spotting that, I, I knew that it was uh, going to be in this... Uh, this season because I saw it on the uh, public test rounds, but I didn't realise quite how good it is. Uh, it's it's awesome to the point where I would have to be quite insane to not take it as something to wear for um, Your grave awaits. for my wizard. If um, if I didn't have Syndicate, I would have it as my um, optional extra from Kai's Cube. That's how that's how good it is. Syndicate is a necessity if I'm going to keep up sustained damage long term. Uh, there's no two ways around that. But it almost makes me want to change off Syndicate. That's how good it would be. Level 26. Oh yeah. Alright, well, that seemed to you know, be nice and easy. Let's go cool, uh, clear the Den of the Fallen. And while we're transporting, more cooldown reduction because, you know, we can't ever shoot enough black holes. It is right there. Let's have a quick look and make sure. Yes, we've got something in that. Uh, no socket, no socket. Yeah, we're, we're as good as we can be at the moment. And that was a little bit of Firethorn's damage for the fun. Now the trick is to be effective at playing the wizard but not then immediately assume I can do all the things that I do with my wizard with my witch doctor. 
not having a disintegrate on the witch doctor is prob probably the the bane of my life. I am getting used to uh, to playing it, and um, part time. of the equipment uh, that I've been looking at really I is going um, it, to it's going to stick to the playstyle that I'm using. So uh, a lot of uh, wall of zombies uh, going up and uh, zombie dogs everywhere and uh, just generally killing things by existing rather than uh, by specifically damaging them. Not ready Especially yet. with the uh, the zombie dogs uh, side of things, there's um, stuff that uh, you can get that uh, sorry a set that you can get uh, that makes mobs take damage uh, just like for having encountered your zombie dogs. Now. And then uh, you get something like the gem of a precious toxin uh, that does uh, two thousand percent for anything that takes any damage, which I think might translate to your pets. I'd need to double check that, but. Um, it, it doesn't take much to then uh, just make everything slowly die over time. Much like this uh, this build is based around, you know, you, you do a bit of fire damage, you wait for it to die, do a bit of fire damage, wait for it to die. Or, you know, do a lot of fire damage and wait for it to die. Burn, baby, burn! How does that feel? It feels quite good. Still waiting. I should also state that uh, this season I've uh, I've given myself an arbitrary limit of uh, no more than just less than two pints uh, of alcohol, not of pure alcohol, but like beer or cider or, or something equivalent, um, in order to play because it's far too easy to um, push you like just a little bit because you're feeling a little bit cocky. Um, Tiny bit of misjudgment, that's all it takes, and all of a sudden you need to power level another person up to level 70. So I want to make sure that um, if I die this uh, this season, it sorry, if I die again this season, it is only down to um, bad gameplay rather than bad judgment due to alcohol. Basically, so, so that I can't blame anyone but myself. Or well, anything but myself, I should say. Not ready yet. There we go. All done. Right, two bounties down. Let's head to Curse Hatchery. The other reason why we've um, uh, popped the difficulty up to Torment 2 is uh, Matrix told me that there's a 50% chance in the final stashes of bounties uh, on Torment 2 for getting um, one of the uniques, and that's entirely what we're here for because we're after that Ring of Royal Grandeur. It's going to be awesome. It's going to make us even more burny. What could go wrong? Fire chains, fire chains, little spider shits. That's what could go wrong. Die, die, die. Di Frozen fire chain spider shits. Oh no, you don't. All right, now it's just you. I don't have enough arcane power. And another death breath. How are we doing on those? Just the one. Well, that's uh, another reason why we're here. Resource gathering. Now this is going to be the one time when this is the entrance to the Spider Queen rather than being the uh, place I'm actually heading for, isn't it? Oh no, no, it does extend further. Alright, well black hole you guys. Still waiting. And we'll just let you die slowly. Oh my god, it's so far away. Alright. Uh, we could teleport through it all, but this is good leveling experience as well, so as much as I hate the spider caverns, we'll kill things as we go along. Like all of you! They're not particularly um, difficult and challenging mobs, but at the same time, when going gets tough, it is like pretty tough at the moment, and all it takes is running out of arcane power. Our killing speed stops. We get surrounded by mobs, and then uh, we probably end up dying. Uh, speaking of, let's double check. We do have unstable anomaly. Oops. Need more time. I'll teach me to check skills in the middle of combat, and of course we've got teleport for getting away in a pinch. Pretty good, pretty good. Don't want to be standing in that. We'll burn all of you. Have a black hole for good measure. All right, the big one's down, and the little one's down. And another death breath, because we can't ever get enough of those. 
Let's put that Paragon point in to resist all. So, are we going this way? We're going this way. Curse Chest is always a good one. A good number of kills, good amount of experience. Black hole on these. They almost die from the black hole just by themselves. That's how piddly they are. Good for extra kill experience though. Kill, well, kill streak experience, I mean. And black hole. Depending on the speed of this, we might be able to get two entire bounty runs of this act done tonight. I don't want to massively uh, overbalance it in favour of one act or another, but uh, while we're waiting for the Ring of Royal Grantor, it does make sense to take full advantage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's um, think carefully as we run in. Right, so, black hole. Burn them all. Need more time. Back up a little. Um, another black hole. Burn you. I don't have enough arcane power. Are you gonna kill him for me? Thank you, Templar. Yes, I did properly equip my Templar on this one. Another good thing about uh, running through bounties is we are going to get stuff to deconstruct and we do need extra crafting materials. If we come up against um, goblins that we can set on fire, that would be absolutely ideal and, you know, just pick up a ton of, um, is it, facious collector ones that drop uh, all the crafting materials? Not ready yet. I think it's the, wait, it's only a treasure goblin, but that's kind of hilarious straight after I said that. Wait, let me actually set you on fire. There you go. You're going to burn until you die, mate. You can run, but you can't stop burning. You can't stop burning. There we go. Desperate. Love it. Mm, didn't get any of the crappy crafting materials that I was hoping for, but... Uh... Whew, okay, so Nephilim Glory is going to run out before we really care. Here we go. Curse chest. 100 enemies. Ooh, this is... Probably not going to get the, the bonus on this just because of the amount of um, arcane power it's going to take. And we're probably going to back up a little bit as well, just to be safe. I'm all for killing a ton of mobs, but uh, when you don't have a massive area of effect spell and you've got very limited damage that you put out, it, it kind of uh, limits what you can do. I'll put a black hole in there for good measure, but really weird. Sporadically hitting the mobs and hoping they burn to death. Oh, we might just about do it, but probably not. No, 92. It's not a bad try, but certainly nothing to write home about. But most importantly, we are still alive. And I will take that any day. Okay. Refresh these, and while that's going on, let's head to the Wortham Survivors. Let's put a black hole right in the middle of those guys. God, I love that spell. You done yet? There we go. So we're going to rescue the word militia. That should be pretty straightforward. Not ready yet. Oh, I want more full down reduction. Let's back up a little bit. Kill that guy. Need more time. Black hole. Anytime. Black hole. There we go. Back you up. Blow you up. I need arcane power. It's all right. You should burn to death now. Firebed set suits me so well. Okay, anyone left alive in here? A couple of people, I suppose. Still 
tortured Worthen militia. We should just dissolve him, really. I'm sure it would be far more humane. No, we're going to free you so you can go back into, like, fighting and protecting people and, you know, maybe get captured again and, and tortured again. And it'll be fine, you know, one day you'll get to retire, but not before we've experienced it another five times. Where are we heading? We're heading down this way. Are nothing. Pretty close to a level up. He's all the way down and oh no, he's just found the Need more time. There we go. All together now. What I need is mana on the hit. That would be ideal. Never gonna happen though. All right, resource cost reduction. That's as close as we're gonna get. That's two down, and the other one was this way. Oh cool, we've a little militia men joining the party. Well, you know, why not? The more the merrier, as they say. Up this way, down this way. Yes, it was this way. I am unstoppable. Okay, very nearly there. Here you are. Still waiting. Kill the last couple of things. Burn them all, burn them all. Get dumped once by one. And. On to kill the butcher. And the Worthen Militia leave just as we're about to go and do that. Well, that's alright, I guess. I am convinced that some malevolent being is attempting to wrest control of my thoughts away from me. Voices direct me to horrendous acts. Horrendous acts! Like burning to- wait, no, that's- that's what I do. This is certain. He looks at me strangely when he thinks me otherwise I don't have enough arcane power. I can't wait until I can get some more arcane power rolling properly. Okay, we're heading up this way. I'm like- my killing speed is fine, it's just- it's um- It's like tiny sprints. A burst of killing everything and then you stop. And then a burst of killing everything, and then you stop. And it's both restricted by my arcane power and the black holes. So as soon as we get to speed either or both of those up, it's going to be so much better. I'll add that. Extra crafting materials? Yes, please. Still waiting. Black hole. There we go. I am so good. I astound myself. I might actually gain another level before we reach uh, the butcher. Uh, oh wow, it's quite, quite a way away. No worry, we'll be fine. We should keep doing that. You dare attack me! Each and every crusader was a warrior of rare strength. They had mastered the power of light, of weapon and shield, and Still of self. I mastered the power of weapon and shield. I'm not a crusader. Two hundred years ago. Although, you know, I've, I've not mastered it in the same way that Roland mastered it, but uh, they were never heard from again. Until I use a weapon. I use a shield. I also disintegrate everything in sight. I'd like to see crusader do that. Bang! I love it when the big mobs burn like that. The only thing that would make it a little bit sweeter is if uh, I could make them explode for some of their um, maximum life. I would say my uh, life on hit, but that won't scale with um, with the difficulty, uh, which is never quite ideal. But uh, come on, burn him, burn him! Dumb as a stump, light as a feather, thick as a board. 29. I was right. Okay, let's put that in movement speed. One thing I do love uh, this season that they didn't do before is when you go to... Uh, nope, that's the wrong way. When you go to the Paragon page, um, if you've just gained a, sk uh, a skill point, it puts you on the correct page for it. You don't have to flip between the... Wait. I've got to go all the way down there. Alright. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four. Tiny teleports. 
Let's have a look at the severed heads while we're passing. Need more time. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. One other uh, thing I will say is um, I've been looking at the other sets for the uh, for the wizard, and um, even uh, like down to the harness of truth, uh, they all sound interesting and entirely possible. So with the set dungeons, I am going to see if I can get uh, the um, harness of truth set. I forget exactly what it's called, and um, the uh, the archon set uh, put together so that I can do those set dungeons as well. We're not we're not going to limit ourselves just the firebird set although i do love it so i'm definitely going to be doing it first run away there we go black hole keep everything at bay not something you normally expect to say about black hole but uh and again most people don't conjure point singularities as uh offensive weapons that last for a couple of seconds and then vanish Ooh, more blues. Oh, God. Knock back. Knock back more to Thunderstorm. That's a horrible. Comp nope. <laughs> I saw what you tried to do there. That's all of the. Nope. I love setting everything on fire and having it burn to death. Once you've done a little bit, you don't need to really worry about it. The only reason you need to keep challenging is when more things come along, like this. Hell, we might even gain another level before we reach the picture. Not ready yet. All right, we'll leave you alive. We'll put all these together. Need more time. It's a shame I can't change my uh, lightning armor damage to fire temporarily. I, I I know the elemental exposure is going to be helping with that. Uh, well, extra damage on everything, but uh, just the idea of more things being set on fire, at least until I get uh, Chandotto set. As far as uh, the blood shards go, first thing we're going to be looking for is Syndicate. Straight after that, it's going to be Chandotto set. There's there's no two ways around it. If we happen to get parts of um, uh, my ideal equipment for the Witch Doctor, then brilliant, but that's I not what we're aiming power. for. At least not while we're playing this character. When is Monday? Not ready yet. Maybe, you know, we'll switch it up a bit, but... Uh, I am unstoppable. Syndicate is, uh, is the biggest thing that's going to be holding me back at the moment, and after that, well, we'll see how it goes. All right, um, let's head back very quickly. We'll just uh, salvage a couple of items make a bit of space put the Haunt of Axo in very carefully right there when you stun an enemy so I need to be stunning enemies and we will salve it that'll do in we go right are you guys ready I'm ready hey Mr. Butcher we're going to set you on fire, and then we're going to, you know, tank you or something. Haha, <laughs> missed me, and you're burning to death. Still missed me. Black hole on your face. And it's going down pretty quickly. It is not the most challenging fight ever, but... Uh, It is really nice that he's just constantly going to be taking damage from it. Ooh, do not want to be in the middle of the fire. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Need more time. Burn you a bit more for good measure. More black hole. Dodge everything and oh god damn it! Is that in range? Maybe. Oh jeez! Out of that. <laughs> This is why I keep teleport at the ready. I am stronger still. Butchering the butcher. Alright, let's have a look at these. 
Level 70, that's fine. Slaughterhouse high five. Actually, wait, I missed that. Slaughterhouse high five. Oh, there we go. Without crowd controlling. Fair enough, didn't do that. And the good chart thing would be without crowd controlling on torment. Yeah. So one hardcore, one and one not. Let's see what's in the horde. And we gained another level as well. So lots of gems and some stuff that we're no doubt going to sell and a paragon point. All right, back to town. Let's go talk to Tyrael because, uh, you know, we're, we're due a ring of royal grandeur after all of that, you I think. Well. You have finished all, the all right. What have we got? Not so much. Well, we got a, a design for Shen at least. For what it's worth. I don't really feel it was worth that much. What else have we got? Uh, Legendary Diabo. We're not going to use that this season. Ward Walkers, maybe, but unlikely. And Utah's Roar. Utah's Roar, I think, was quite interesting. What was it? Yeah, that was the cold damage one. And cold does more damage. So if we ever switch over to Rare Frost, then we might do that. At least until we, you know, find something better. Salvage all of this down, and let's go store it. So, that gives us enough death breaths to actually transmute something, but we're going to save them for the moment because we do want to have at least five available for when we get the Ring of Royal Grandeur. So I'll put them there so that they're nice and uh, and separated. What else could we potentially switch over? Hmm, hmm. That's actually a really good one. 20% of your maximum primary resource just... Without knowing what the chance is, it's, it's really hard to say if it would be worthwhile, but... Uh, anyway, right, so... Put these down, and we are going to go straight back into Act 1 Bounties. Uh, in fact, I'm going to finish that episode there. I'm going to pick up again, and we'll do some Act 1 Bounties again. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and uh, join me again in just a couple of moments for another episode of Diablo 3. I'll see you soon.